Hi guys, welcome to my channel, The Analyst. Today we'll do a short video, a small demo basically to check how we can identify whether there's a trend in or time series data. Right. Uh, the data set that I'll be using is basically one that I've made. It's a pretty simple data set wherein you have your days from July to October and basically I'm recording the temperature across the years okay so from 1996 each of the days of the temperature has been 1997 right up to 2015 now my goal over here basically is to check whether there's been a trend in the temperature right is it getting is it getting warmer is it getting colder and so on Alright guys, so let's directly just jump on to the demo. Okay. Uh, as usual, first thing that I'll do is basically I will clean up my environment and read the data, alright, from basically the way that I should read this data. Uh, as you can see over here, this is the data that I've read, the one that I've just shown you. Now, first thing that we need to do is basically convert it to a time series. The data is time series, right? So, we'll need to convert it to a time series object over here. For that, what we do is that first we exclude the first column and we create into a vector and basically then we create a time series object. The data that's denoted by data TS, right? You can see over here, we've created a time series object. Now, we'll plot the data and we'll check. And once you plot the data, what we see is basically this, right? Uh, you can't understand a lot from this. So what we'll do is that we'll try to smoothen it and check whether any trend exists. To smoothen it, uh, basically I'll just basically use the roll mean here yeah. across a window size of 30. Let's uh, basically smoothen it and check. So I plot it again and this is my smoothen data. Again from the data, basically one look at it and you can see that probably there's no trend over the entire year right so your year is from 1996 to 2015 so pretty much uh, we can't really observe any kind of trend however there may be some kind of a seasonality factor involved because you can see like reduces and then it increases and so on like all right so uh we'll use whole filters over here whole filters basically you see over here it takes into consideration all the three components okay uh, basically the level component the trend component and the seasonal component denoted by alpha beta and gamma so what we'll do is that we'll use whole filters the prerequisite to it part of this is that your data needs to be in the time series format and we've already created a time series object above over yeah All right the steps basically is to create the time series object the data ts is your time series object we'll feed that in to the whole filters algorithm and then we'll plot the data okay we'll basically check whether a trend exists or not so when you see over here right you can see the smoothing parameters what is over here is that Alpha is 0 0.6, right? That's the level component. But beta is 0. 0 indicating that there is no trend only in the data. Right? Gamma is basically the season component and there does exist some kind of seasonality. But yeah, there's no trend in the data. Right? 
So this is how basically we can just use uh, poll filters to validate whether the a trend exists or not, and then probably we can forecast it. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much. Bye bye.